As a kid growing up in Cornelius, Richard Dick Van Grunzen and his older brother Jerry had a love of aviation inspired by their father's stories of flying and the home builders of the 1930s. He learned to fly at 15 and bought a Piper Cub with his brother, which they flew from a strip at the farm, spending every free minute aloft. Along the way, he acquired CFI, IFR, and ATP ratings before attending the University of Portland to get a degree in engineering. After graduation, he joined the Air Force, where he served as a communications officer. It was while in the Air Force, based in Michigan, that Van Grunsman began the relationship with home-built aircraft that would be the hallmark of his life. He acquired a Stitz Playboy in 1962, but was unhappy with its performance, so he took it apart and modified it with a cantilevered aluminum wing that he designed and built. This was the RV-1. After selling the RV-1, Van Grunswen started to work on his own clean sheet design airplane with an all-aluminum structure, which flew in 1971 as the RV-3. With high speed and aerobatic performance, interest in the RV-3 was so high that Van Grunswen started Van's aircraft out of his home to produce kits of the plane in 1972. His next design, the RV-4 tandem two-seater, was a result of the listening to the demands of home builders who wanted to have the performance of an RV-3 and bring a friend to enjoy the fun. Demand was so high that Dick had to hire full-time employees to handle the workload. Since then, Van Grunswen's established a plant in Aurora, Oregon that employs over 50 people and has sold 18,000 kits or sets of plans. Builders in 45 countries have completed over 8,000 examples of RV aircraft, making it the most successful home-built aircraft company in history. Among Van Grunzen's most popular designs was the RV-6, which followed the changing demographics of the flying public. The new side-by-side -side seating reflected the fact that more pilots were trained in side-by-side -side aircraft and were comfortable with that layout. Plus, their spouse didn't have to sit in the back seat anymore. First flown in 1986, the RV-6 was also available in a tricycle gear variant and it became only the second home-built design selected for military use when the Nigerian Air Force purchased 65 RV-6A kits to be built locally for their basic training needs. In 2003, Van Grunsven successfully jumped into the world of four-place aircraft with the RV-10, and his current design, the RV-12, is designed for the light sport aircraft market, showing his commitment to creating aircraft that modern home builders want. Today, over 20% of the single-engine aircraft flying in the United States are Van Grunzven's designs, a true testament to the efficiency, affordability, and performance of the aircraft that he created. As one aviation writer said of him, Dick Van Grunsven did it all better than anybody else, starting with damn little more than a dream, honesty, brains, and hard work. Richard Van Grunsven and his wife Diane live in North Plains, Oregon.